this view right here is in Fargo. We are looking out to the west now. You can barely make out the pedestrian bridge over I-94 there with the snow now coming down, reducing our visibility, and it's going to continue to uh, accumulate. We're starting to see it already accumulate a little bit on some of the tops of roofs and, and on the uh, sidewalks and grassy surfaces here. So starting up now for Fargo, it's been ongoing for some time in the Southern Valley on our Dakota Magic Skycam Casino or Dakota Magic Casino Skycam. There we go. Uh, we started off rather quiet this morning. This is at 530. Here's the time lapse of what happened. We saw some bouts of snow move through windy conditions and then the snow just took over completely and visibility there now. Uh, not good at all. We're looking at uh, well, we can't see anything here in the Hankinson area. So really dealing with some intense conditions there. That's where the blizzard warning was expanded. You can see the snow stretching across the southern part of the Red River Valley and it is moving up toward the too. On the leading edge of this, it takes a little bit. It's running into some drier air, so it takes a little bit for that snow to work its way down, but eventually it does, and it has done so in Fargo. And a little more dynamic down toward the southeast of us, you can see all these little lightning bolts here. They've got thunder snow in parts of Minnesota, and some of that may just lift into the valley. So don't be alarmed if you see this or if you hear a rumble of thunder. Of course, you don't want to be out in that. Uh, but we've got some heavier snowfall just south of Fargo now. You can see this band of white and dark blue. That's where one band of heavier snow happens to be falling. Back over to Detroit Lakes and in Ottertail County, too. So this is just the start of it. This whole system is going to continue moving to the north and east. So we're going to continue to see this lifting into the valley here through the rest of the day. Here's a look at our visibility reports. Here's why we have that blizzard warning. We're looking at zero in Oaks and Gwinter, Wapaton a half mile and Fargo's now down to less than a mile and over into Lakes Country too along Highway 59 we're looking at visibility less than a mile. The wind is gusting into the 30s to near 40, 39 miles per hour in Fargo out of the northeast so really blustery conditions that creates its own problem as far as flooding is concerned too where we've got the overland flooding going on this might create some wave action on some of that and those dikes that are facing to the north and east might be getting some extra pressure on them from uh, any waves that might be developing there. Uh, temperatures are into the 20s to some low 30s. It's 30 degrees in Fargo, so we are below freezing. And checking out your hour by hour planner, more snow lifting northward where you see these purple areas in our forecast model. That's where we're looking at some heavy snow coming down. This is four o'clock, so really in the thick of things for Fargo, along Highway 10, back along I-94, and of course I-29, but nobody's driving on I-29 now or soon won't be. Uh, south of Fargo because it is closing. And up to the north, we'll start to see more of that snow up along Highway 2 uh, around the 7 o'clock hour. And that continues pressing north from there. And even some pockets where you've got a little heavier snow there as well. It just won't be snowing as long there as it will be in the Southern Valley where it's already started up. Heading into the overnight hours tonight, snow still sticks around. Not as intense as it will be today, but there will still be some accumulations tomorrow. And we'll still have some wind gusting to 30 at this time tomorrow. So noon tomorrow we're still looking at falling snow and blowing snow in the region and this just hangs around into the evening hours before it finally fizzles out as the system pulls away. So looking at your snowfall potential still looking at a large area of more than six inches of snow and there will be places where we get a foot of snow more than a foot in some spots in the southern end of the valley. By the way Watertown has had a foot and a half of snow there so that tells you just how much moisture this system is packing with lesser amounts up to the north this weekend, it all starts to melt. We'll have some sunshine, temperatures into the 40s, 50s next week, so it shouldn't stick around too long. But it's going to be a hazard for us, of course, today, and difficult, if not impossible, travel happening. And I just heard from our reporter, Rose Itzkovitz, in Detroit Lakes, and she said even from just 40 minutes ago, right now, much worse out oh, there. Well, hopefully she makes it back safe, and hopefully everybody else, too. If, if you don't have to travel, once that snow starts up, just stay put where you are. Good advice. Thank you, Lisa.